Okay, <laughs> I can't hold back my excitement. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, hi! If this is your first video with me, my name is Angelfish, and I am a huge Monster High fan, and I have been a fan since 2010. Uh, my first ever doll as a child happened to be Claude Wolf, so I am incredibly excited and maybe a little bit emotional to have Claude here in front of me from the new G3 line. Oh my gosh, uh, I could cry. Oh. Anyway, before we get into him, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, turn on bell notifications, all that jazz, and without further ado, let's get into it. So. I got him early, obviously. Um, while he's been on Amazon Canada and Amazon UK for a while, within the US, the only place we can get him really is Entertainment Earth, and those don't ship until July. So, you know, I screamed when he dropped on Paul Mart two weeks ago, and I wasn't able to get him. But then last Thursday, he restocked. And... Special thank you to my mutual on Twitter, Sketchy. Oh my god, without you, I would not have my tiny plastic son right now. I, oh my god. <laughs> like, it's literally, class was, my, my psychology class was ending. And I get a DM from Sketchy that's like, he is in stock now, hurry. And I was like, oh shit. So here I am, like, leaving class uh, on my phone, like, making sure I got all of, like, the proper information filled out so that I could get him. <laughs> His beef jerky is loose in there. It's going to escape as soon as I open this box, but you know what? That is okay, because <laughs> that's the kind of day we're having anyway. <laughs> let's, 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 enough, enough rambling. Anyway, this is Claude's art by Darko. Hopefully this is not glued to the packaging because the Monster Ball art was, and I was incredibly disappointed by that. I want to put this on my door with the other signature doll art that I have. His side has symbols, much like Wave 1. I guess this is Wave 1.5 because Abby, who... Nobody's found Abby yet. Um, she'll show up eventually. I have her on pre-order from Entertainment Earth. So I'll probably review her in July when I get her, but he's got all of his symbols, his water bottle, his phone, his jersey, the beef jerky, the casket ball, which he does not come with, but that does come with the um, ghoul spirit set. Oh, why are Laguna's eyes blue here when they're not blue on any of the other boxes? I would know. I have like four versions of this picture cut out on my back wall, and her eyes are not blue in any of them, so I'm confused. Anyway, uh, he's got the new art. I know. I know we're all like, why Why is Wave 2 not on the back with the rest of them? Probably because they did not want to really consider this as Wave 2. It's more like Wave 1.5. Kind of like how Holt and Gulia were like first initially released as an addition to Wave 1 all the way back in 2011, and then Schools Out happened later that year, and they redid the packaging to have Holt and Gulia as part of Schools Out. It was a little... I don't know. That's, that's the way that this reads to me. Anyway, Claude has his full body artwork here. Much better in person. I wasn't sure about it when it first leaked. Um, now, Claude seems to be made in Indonesia, which means he's probably going to have a little bit of hair product in his hair, as they tend to put a lot more hair product in the dolls from the Indonesian factory. At least in my experience, like growing up with Monster High, I noted th noticed this too. Dolls that say made in China generally don't have hair product in them, or at least not as much, maybe like in the bangs or something, but dolls from Mattel Indonesia's factory tend to have hair product in them. I won't be surprised if he has gel. Um, I've tried to avoid mostly everything that other people have said about him because I wanted to, you know, just have my own opinions. I I've been so excited for him. In fact, his G1 doll is joining us today as well. Say hello, my dude. Um, he's missing quite a bit because he's old and he he's been played with. Like, he's... he's... but we love him. Um, barcode. Where's the barcode? <clears throat> Here's Claude's barcode. Now, originally, <clears throat> and sorry, my allergies are really bad this week. 
but originally Claude was allegedly slated for May, but I don't think we'll be seeing him in stores this month. I highly doubt it. If we do, that would be amazing, because I would love to get multiple of him. I want an army of Claude dolls by the end of the summer, because he is my favorite, and I have so many customization ideas for him, um, including one with braids, which I really want to do. <clears throat> God, my fucking allergies. Oh, I just swore. Sorry, YouTube. Anyway, um, the barcode, I don't know when it'll start working in any store systems. And that's kind of the name of the game with any toys right now in the U.S. because our distribution here sucks. Everywhere else is getting stuff on time or early. But the U.S. right now is having distribution issues, mostly because our political system and our economy are tied into each other, and they are both absolutely fucked right now. Um, anyway, this is a doll channel. I try not to get into that too much. We are just tearing into him on camera because I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, I am. I am excited. This is my. This is my most anticipated doll ever. Oh my god, you know what? I need to pause. I need to pause because I'm going to knock over my camera. <laughs> He's out of the box. Accessory time. It is accessory time. You all know the drill. If you are returning viewers to this channel, we do this with every doll unboxing now. I don't remember when I started it, but this has just been the procedure for a while now. Anyway, here we have Scariaki Wolf Jerky. I don't know what that red word says. Oh, it's just, it just says Scariaki again in smaller red font and meat snack. I mean, I would hope it is a meat snack. It's kind of squishy, but it's probably just because it was in 90 degree weather in the in the mailbox again. <laughs> All right, next is his eye coffin, which does not have a camera. They keep forgetting to give these ghouls a camera on their phones. Only Laguna, only Laguna's phone has had a like actual sculpted out spot for her camera. Whoever did the tooling on this how are they supposed to camera, uh, like, capture pictures of their friends? Like, it's such a minor detail, but also, like, it bothers the shit out of me that, like, only one eye coffin out of every single one that we've gotten so far has had a camera sculpted into it. None of the other ones have it. Why is that? Anyway, his screening is unique. It is his screening for his phone. Does not share one with Claudine, which is nice. Next is his pet. Gargoyle, Bulldog, Roxena. I wasn't a fan of Roxena in G1. She's okay here. She's cute. Yeah, I prefer this to the G1 one. The, I, I will say I did like the colors of the G1 pet a little bit more. But this is okay. You know, this is cute. She looks like she wants to steal some cheese. You, are you, are you going to pay the cheese tax? You, you, we all know the cheese tax. Even if we don't own dogs, we, we all know of the cheese tax. It's a thing. Because toddlers do the cheese tax, too. Anyway. Glasses. I don't know what's carved into these. Are these claw marks? Bat wings? Blood drips? Teeth? It's all very confusing. But they are glittery and kind of a gold transparent-ish color, um, how they fit over his eyes. They sit... okay. We'll cover you in a second, my boy, but... Ay, mi hijo, I love him so much. He's my baby. He is my baby, okay? Like, when I was a little kid, I had a crush on Claude, but as I have gotten older, I'm like, that is my son. I love him to bits. That is that is my boy. That is my tiny plastic son. Like, he is definitively... And I say that all of my dolls are my children, with the exception of, like, maybe one or two, a.k.a. the Ken doll that I own, and maybe, like, the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's Monster, because those three are, like, whole-ass adults. But like all my other dolls, they are my children. Especially Claude. He is my son. If anyone says anything mean about him to me, they will not hear the end of it. Like, I... <laughs> anyway, uh, this is 
a granola protein bar. I had to enunciate it like that. I'm sorry. It's it's the monster puns. It's a necessity. And it's the same candy bar mold that's been in Skultimate Secrets, but it's nice to see it again because this is the, the I can actually gotta Okay, this is only the third time that I have seen this sculpt. So it's nice to see it because I really like it. The molding on mine is a little screwy though, because that's that part's a little squished, so he won't be able to hold it, but that's just a manufacturing error with mine specifically. Next, his water bottle, which opens! I don't know why! There's no reason to, but it's cool, and this lid is kind of squishy. Um, the rest of it is not, but it's kind of like this transparent-y... Is it transparent? Hang on, I'm trying to hold it up to my window, because I record by... You're not going to be able to see it, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's got a bumpy texture, kind of like Laguna's. It's much bigger than the other water bottles we have. It's a sports water bottle for sure. It's not a hydro flask. It's got the Monster High crest on both sides. Very simple, no sticker details, no painted details. Very nice though. And lastly, but certainly not least, if I can get the rubber bands off of it, we have his gym bag, which has faux fur sculpted into it, a crescent moon on both sides, this little paw keychain zipper pull, like sculpted in it. I'm gonna paint that gold. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna embellish some of this with some painted details because it's lacking them. It opens fairly easily, squishy plastic like a lot of the other G3 bags, and what you can put in it, in addition to his snacks, is his additional clothing piece, which is this jersey that has number one and Claude on it with a spiderweb print and a yellow bar running on each side. Um, they should have included gym shorts too. That would have been interesting because I don't think this really particularly goes with his pants. Um, hopefully fashion packs come out for the dolls eventually because uh, gym shorts would be good to go with this. It's it's a nice reference. I think it is a little misleading, though, because Claude isn't on the casketball team in G3. He's a fear leader now. Uh, I mean, we are probably still going to use this as his fear leading uniform, but it does not match the one that he wears in the show at all. In fact, his in the show is a jacket of the same color, but it's just, just a little inconsistency. Also, the art is removable, so if you would like to preserve it, you can! Why Monster Ball doesn't have that as an option? I will never know. It upsets me greatly. Anyway, my boy! Me baby, he is here! And I love him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, so first of all, height is going to be a little inaccurate in comparison to uh, G1 just because mine is not wearing shoes because uh, he doesn't have them anymore. They are gone. They are long gone. I don't know what happened to them. But I think they're about the same height, which means he's going to be slightly taller than Deuce. Not by much. Deuce is only ever so slightly shorter. Something is sticky on the back of him, and I can't tell what. Okay, we're, well, we're, oh, it's hair product. That's what it is. Okay, well, we're going to soak that out of him later in this video anyways. But. I'm getting ahead of myself. He's not much taller than his G1 counterpart. Just a little bit. He has an adorable face. I love his screening. Um, I think mine might be a little off-center. Yeah, it's a little, but that's just mine. It's actually not too bad. Not the worst case of wonk eye I've ever gotten on a Monster High doll. In fact, far from it. At least both eyes are the same size, it's just they're slightly upwards on the mold, which I think is fine, actually. I can live with that. His face sculpt, he's got the fur on the side. He's much furrier than Claudine is. I will be giving him sideburns. I have to. I have to give him his facial hair. That's my one complaint that I've had from the start since he was revealed. Well, he hasn't been officially revealed by Mattel, but since his stock images were found, my one main complaint is that he does not have any of his facial hair. And it just feels like it's a little bit of a disservice to not have him have it when he has it in the show. 
he just looks a little weird without his sideburns. So we will fill that in with acrylic paint. Maybe in this video, maybe in a separate TikTok. Who knows? Um, now he's got his ears up here, which are kind of squishy. I can't really... Oh my god, his ears are not part of his head. That's concerning. Wow, Monster High, Mattel, what the fuck? Like, I get that he has to have hair, but, like, why is his ear a separate piece? It's literally... Uh, Claudine's ears are not like this. These are glued on. Girl, what the fuck? Okay, um... A little disappointed. Wasn't expecting that. Not impressed. I still love him, though. But, like... If he gets too warm, these are coming off. And that's not something anybody should have to worry about. The ears should just be part of the head. Actually, no, I have rerouted a G3 Claudine before. Her head is not like this. Toralai is not like this. Why is he like this? What is the reason? Did you originally intend to give him plastic ears? Is that why? Because he's got like. A weird divot here. We're rooting. Okay, that's that's not great. Also, he's got hair product in his hair. It does feel like saran, but it's it's pretty crispy because it's got gel in it, which is a little sticky. And we're going to soak that out. Probably not with boiling water, though, because I'm scared. His ears are going to fall off if I do that, because what the fuck? He does have gold earrings. Um, hmm, sorry, I need to take a minute. Okay, roller coaster of emotions over. But yeah, back to the earrings. They're a very simple mold. They're just, you know, similar to how they were in G1, a bright gold color. And they peg in like how a lot of the new G3 earrings for the cat-eared and wolf-eared characters go. God, now I'm worried about the wear twins' ears situation. Um, his jacket has pleather sleeves with printing on them. Very nice. And this is decent quality pleather. This is not like their usual faux latex pleather. Like, this is actual standard stretch pleather, which is interesting because that's yet to be used on G3. Um, his hair is so messed up from me discovering his ear situation. <laughs> we'll fix it later. His the The bodice of the jacket you can even call it a bodice. Uh, nothing on the back, sadly. Um, although I don't think he has anything on the back in the show. He's got his little patches and buttons printed on, and the pockets are printed on as well. And then he has this woven, like, shoelace kind of material trim on the jacket to give it that varsity look. Now, underneath, and I'm going to pop your hands off real quick, buddy, because we... Oh, yeah. I get letting it. I I have sworn so much in this video. YouTube is not gonna like me for it, but I do not care. Okay, his hands pop off pretty easy. His jacket comes off pretty easy, and I'm just going to like because I'm going to be doing his hair in this video. I might as well just undress him fully at this point as well as I talk about his clothes because he's going to go to the doll spa. Not, not the, not the zombie x corn doll spa, but like my, my sink. He's going to my sink, um, so that I can take care of his hair and get all of that product out of it and get his curls to sit in a non-stressful way. Plus some, some of them are a lot longer than they should be. Uh, so we're going to like touch up his hair and stuff. I have my hair pick ready, but, um, yeah, it's got tank top, Velcro's in the back. Mattel's usual printed stretch material. Uh, there's like a little hole in it from something right there, a little snag. I don't remember a tab being in here though, so I don't know where that's from. Excuse me. Um, it's just a very simple piece, you know, got a wolf, hand, claws, and then his pants are high-waisted, and they are a faux denim material, just like Deuce Gorgon's jacket. They velcro in the back. 
2022 Mattel made in Indonesia. He does have a new body. I'll compare him to Deuce in a little bit, um, probably after I situate his hair. His pants are not hemmed at the bottom because they're supposed to be ripped jeaned, but they are laser cut, so the edges are hard. They shouldn't fray. They have the claw mark and distressed printing on them, but it is actually a denim material. Well, a faux denim material. And his shoes, which I will show you separately so you can get a better look at them. And again, I am undressing him because I'm about to prepare him to go get the gel out of his hair because I cannot stand the texture. Ooh! Oh, he's got different legs! He's got fur on his legs. So he has a completely different body than Deuce. That's nice. Um, and he, has, he also does have clawed hands and fur on his wrists, which is much better than G2 Claude, who I don't have for a reason, because he's just on an Ever After High body, and that disappoints me. Well, not an Ever After High body, I think it's actually the K-pop doll, the BTS doll bodies that G2 had. And here are Claude's shoes, which they are, like, Vans, I think? Maybe? They seem very plain in their presentation. They're lacking a few painted details. Like, this fur is supposed to be, I think, auburn or maybe even gold. I don't remember what color they are in the show, but it's supposed to be painted. Um, and I think they might also supposed to have, like, a black stripe on the sides, but I can add that myself. Now, the underside is interesting. It's claw marks, question mark, with crescent moons. It's very confusing to look at in person. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It is a shoe tread, so of course the, any pattern in it is going to be a little crazy to understand, but I think it's supposed to match the print of his jacket sleeves. Anyway, that is everything that Claude comes with. It is time for the other half of the video. Actually, no. We're going to do final thoughts now, and we're going to make the hair a separate video. I'm sorry. I, I just looked at the amount of time I've spent recording this. I need to make his hair situation a separate video just so I can dedicate more time to that. How does that sound? Sound good? Because final thoughts on Claude. Now again, if it weren't for the fact that his ears are not part of his sculpt, and the fact that he's missing his facial hair, I'm pretty happy with him. My final thoughts are, I cannot wait to have more of him. He's a solid 9 out of 10 for me. Again, the ear situation really pisses me off. But I'm gonna actually go record a separate video for his hair, and I will see you all later. It should be going up right after this video does. Bye bye